All right, guys, welcome to how to put on liquid emulsion. This is a little bit different than doing the um, sheet emulsion. So you'll need these tools when you come in first thing, gloves, okay? You'll need these because if you get any of this on your, on your hands, it's, it's a lot easier just to take the gloves off than to wash it off. You'll need something to mix up the um, emulsion with, okay? And you'll need what's called a scoop coater, okay? The liquid emulsion is in this red container here. So I'm going to scoot this out of the way so you can kind of see some of this first. We'll need to open this up. And if it's been settling, sitting for a little while, it settles. And you'll need to mix up the emulsion. The emulsion's light sensitive too, guys, so obviously we have to have that light safe light on as well. So when we open this up, You'll kind of see your emulsion that's in there. Okay. Kind of see that. Now it might not look like it needs to be mixed up, but you always should mix this up. Okay. Um, can you grab me some paper towels over there too? That's the other thing you might need is some paper towels too. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna mix this up. And this is like Elmer's glue. Okay, um, Elmer's glue dries in the air. Okay, so you don't want to leave this top off for too long. Okay, it's all mixed up. I have the paper towels here too, so I can wipe this off when I'm done. Makes it a lot easier to clean off by wiping when I'm done. The scoop cutter comes with this rubber protection thing, guys. It's really important that. You take this off first before you fill it up. Okay. Put this off to the side. Always put that back on after you're done too. You want to make sure that this is a nice, protected, uh, clean and straight um, scoop coater. Any dents or anything like that will have problems or issues with um, putting that emulsion on. So make sure that this is um, clean, doesn't have any dents. If it has any dents, come let me know because we might have to fix it. Scoop cutter is great because it sits just like that. And now I can take my emulsion and I'm just going to fill up my scoop cutter. How far? How far is a great point. It depends on how many screens you're going to do. You can always put it back when you're done. It's always easier if you guys fill it up about halfway full. So you don't want to overfill it because then it just makes it harder to um, put the emulsion on. Okay. It's about halfway full, it makes it a pretty easy. Okay. Guys, when you're done, you put the lid back on. You don't have to close it, but just keep the air out so it doesn't dry out. Okay? Set that off to the side. This. There's my scoop coater filled with my emulsion. The next thing you guys will need is your screen. And you'll need a screen holder too. You don't have to use a screen holder, but man, it works so much nicer when you have it. Okay? Um, I have it so there's some rubber stoppers under here, so that goes right up against that to keep it from being pushed back. Don't do this, because if you put it up there, when you start to put your emulsion on, it's going to slide away and you're going to be frustrated. Put it so it's up there like this, guys, up against that table, and it'll work out great. Okay? And then the screen fits right in there. Okay? We're going to use our scoop coater. And Aiden, can you grab me that, there's a little scoop coater right behind you. If you open, look right up above there, there's a little one. No, in that cabinet right there. See it? Yeah, perfect. This will help out with things too. Awesome, here's a little one. You guys can kind of see how this works. Okay. When I'm putting my emulsion on here, what's gonna happen is I wanna put my scoop coater right up against this, and when I start to lean it up, that's when the emulsion comes in. Notice that it has the, the angle that it should be at when you bring it up. So what happens is you put that right up even with it, bring it up until the emulsion starts to come on there, and then you're going to bring that up in a nice even way, and so when you get to the top, you're going to bring it back, okay? 
And you want to make sure that you bring that back so the emulsion goes back in here. So when you pull it away, the, emulsion, the extra emulsion is in here. If you don't do that, what would happen, guys, if I had my emulsion like this and I brought it out like that? You just keep pouring out. Over, yeah, it would pour all over the place. Okay? <laughs> so it's a little bit of a practice. So when you have it up here, emulsions like this, you're going to bring it up. When you get to the top, bring it back and take it off. So you'll watch me do this. Guys, when you do this, you only need to do one, one on each side, and that's how it works. The scoop cutter that I have is just big enough, guys, to fit across your screen. Okay. So when I have that on here, so you guys can see, I'll do this. Oh, oh very loud noises, though. But now can you guys see this angle a little bit better? Yep. Okay, good. And we're going to bring this right up to this angle. The emulsion is going to come right on there. Now once it starts touching all the way across, then I'm going to bring this up in a nice... I'll come up to the top, I'm going to bring it back. The emulsion comes off. And lift it up. One second. Thanks for the emulsion in the bucket. Uh, you can when you're all done. We're going to be doing multiple screens. So guys, when you're finished, Turn it around because you want to do the other side too. Okay? Cool. Same thing. Now, if this happens to sit for a while, guys, take your paper towel, wipe off this edge because you don't want to have that. What happens is this will dry and then you'll get a dried mess along the side. Make sure that that's clean. Okay? Same thing, guys. We'll bring this right up against this so that emulsion is on there. Okay. And then It is entertaining and watching from that And then you have your emulsion on there. It should be a nice, even, okay, emulsion, okay? Depending on how fast you go, I might have went a little fast. If you go too fast, you start to get some of those bubbles in there. You want to go maybe a little bit slower, and you'll get a nice, even texture, okay? There you go. And now you have to let it dry, okay? Drying it, guys, it has to dry with the screen down because you want to make sure that the emulsion okay starts to settle and pull down towards the end so when you put this down guys you're going to make sure that it's between those two boards on either side not don't put it over this what would happen if i put a board right across this you would leave the board mark yeah leave the board mark and it'll stick to it so you want to make sure that the boards are on either sides and then turn on the fan and it should dry in about 15 minutes and the exposure time and everything else is exactly the same for um, the liquid emulsion as it would be for the sheet emulsion. Any questions? Pretty simple, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, almost almost easier than the sheet emulsion, right? Uh, almost, almost ten times. Almost easier. ten times easier. So there you go.